Five of the most powerful tech CEOs sat at the same Senate hearing table on Wednesday at, on Capitol Hill. And they were asked about the risks their social media platforms pose to minors. The heads of Meta, X, TikTok, Discord, and Snap have been accused of not doing enough to protect kids from sexual exploitation and other harms online. Some parents who lost their children attended the hearing, too. CBS News senior business and tech correspondent Jolene Kent was there. How are you keeping kids safe online? Why should parents trust Meta anymore? Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, along with the heads of Snap, TikTok, X, and Discord, on Capitol Hill today for a grilling from lawmakers. I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. The Senate Judiciary hearing room was packed with families, many of whom held photos of their children who have died by suicide due to online sexual exploitation. Senators focused much of their fire on Zuckerberg, who was forced to apologize directly to victims' families. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? He was testifying for the eighth time. Instagram also displayed the following warning screen to individuals who were searching for child abuse materials. And then you gave users two choices get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? Snap CEO Evan Spiegel also aggressively questioned. Did you or ever, and everyone else at Snap really fail to see that the platform was the perfect tool for sexual predators? Senator, that behavior is disgusting and reprehensible. I'm very happy with the senator's questions. They were very pointed, um, but I was not happy with the responses. For Tammy Rodriguez, whose 11-year-old daughter died by suicide after severe social media addiction, Zuckerberg's apology was not enough. When he stood up to apologize, he looked right in my eyes and... There's no feeling or emotion. Also in the room, Shauna Pouch. She's raising her 11-year-old granddaughter, who she says was sexually exploited on Snapchat. I'm very frustrated with listening to these CEOs. How many more children do we need to lose in order for this to change? And Jolene Kent joins me now from Capitol Hill. Uh, Jolene, can I ask about uh, Ted Cruz's question? Because he said to Mark Zuckerberg, when you search for this material, it says, it doesn't block you, it says see results anyway. Did, did uh, Zuckerberg have an explanation for why that's the case? Yes, Zuckerberg presented it as that Facebook or Meta often can be wrong in certain instances, and Zuckerberg believes that directing people to resources, in his words, is better than having no warning at all. But of course, Senator Ted Cruz pushed back on that, saying, why is it still an option to proceed? And Zuckerberg did not have a satisfactory answer in the eyes of Senator Ted Cruz. One of the goals of the hearing was obviously to create some of the moments that we've seen. What's the practical result or practical goal of this hearing in terms of regula regulation, legislation, or what might come uh, to actually address some of the problems that were addressed? Overall, from the view of the parents and the survivors, the lawmakers and the CEOs, this now rests in the hands of lawmakers to create reform and pass bills out of committee and get, to, get them onto the Senate floor. And when I asked Ranking Member Graham, he had said to me a couple of days ago in our dual ex bipartisan exclusive with Senator Durbin that they were going to get this out of committee and find a way to put it on the Senate floor. When I talked to him in the hallway again today, he said the same thing and doubled down on his commitment. He says he wants to use unanimous consent. He wants to go to the floor with a marked up Section 230, a reform on a law, a very old law that it prevents people from suing the tech companies. Mark that up and present that reform through unanimous cons consent on the Senate floor by this fall. And he made a promise that he's going to do it. Now let's see if he can actually deliver on that. So is the gambit there that if you take away those protections that the tech firms will then be liable and they'll get their act together and start taking action? Exactly, but 
of course, the complexity is lies within. And a lot of the senators, including those who are in alignment by party, don't necessarily agree on how that ought to be carried out and how Section 230 ought to be reformed. So that complexity is going to be a thorn in Senator Graham's side and Senator Durbin's side in order to move this forward. Now, there is other legislation out there, at least five, seven pieces of legislation between uh, a couple of committees, including Senate Judiciary, that could move and be put on a calendar. But Senator Schumer, the majority leader, has not done that yet. And both Durbin and Graham tell me that they want to put pressure to get that on the calendar. It's a matter, they say, of time, but also to get the lobbyists and the pressure from the tech companies off to allow these things to move forward. So as much as Senator Graham wants this to proceed by this fall, it will be a very tricky, very difficult thing to do. John. Indeed. Jolene Kent on Capitol Hill for us. Thanks so much.